here's Sarah Hound, and we've given her a very, very important job today. This isn't something we usually do, but today, little Miss Sarah Hound, yeah, that's you, is um, keeping vigilant watch over the neighborhood because we are having a garage sale. So she's our official guard dog. We couldn't have fight. We couldn't afford a fight. We couldn't afford an actual security guard. So, uh, so we enlisted Sarah. And um, so far, we've got to say her track record's really well. Her track record's really good. Nothing's been stolen. Of course, our garage sale's only been out here for about oh three minutes since everything's been out. And see, as you can see, she's a. Uh, She's really enjoying her job. Doing a really good job. Oh, I think she sees something. I think she see. Oh, no. It doesn't see anything anymore. See what I mean? Just keeping an eye on everything. Checking everything out. That is a good watchdog, my friend. Oh, she's mad dogging something. This is if she's saying with her eyes. You stay away from here. I'm taking a nap. Well, alright then. Yep. So... Good job, Sarah. If you would like to hire Sarah as a guard dog for your garage sale event, you can add her as a friend at facebook.com forward slash Sarah Hound Dog and send her a message and see if she's up for it. She works for Milk Bones and Cheese. Thanks, Sarah. And right here, this is a... Uh... This is some action video of Sarah guarding the table because that is our most expensive item and she knows this. So she's working with the owner here, Jim, on protecting this table. It was used in the mid 18th century by King Charles himself, which is amazing because King Charles wasn't around in the mid 18th century. But that's our selling ploy. And so um, this lovely table here is going for $80. And um, Sarah's going to make sure that no one tries to swipe it out from under us. Isn't that right, Sarah? Yeah. Jim, any words you'd like to say on how well you're... Maybe she should be sitting over here with the rest of the pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> this right here, this is Yuki, the uh, second watchdog. He is our inside security. He's running surveillance. Uh, as you can see, he's a little more stealthy, so <clears throat> when there's anyone coming up to the garage zone, he doesn't quite trust them. He lets us know that, hey, you need to keep an eye on these folks. So, yeah, he's a very vocal dog, and um, he's partnered with Sarah to uh, to help us keep this garage sale under control. Thanks, Yuki. You're the best. We had a ton of stuff here we were selling today. We had sofas, everything and everything. Everything is gone. We left for one minute. Right here, our guard dog. She, she didn't do her job. Everybody came, loaded up, and cleared us out. So would you uh, would you recommend Sarah as a guard dog? I don't dog? recommend her at all. She's sleeping on the job. She's lazy. She demands too much in chickies and bones. Hmm. So that's basically it. Sarah, do you have anything to say about that? No. She's been framed. Are you upset because we hired Sarah to be our our garage sale dog and not you? Yeah. You really wanted the gig, didn't you, huh? Did you want to be the guard dog, Lily? Yeah. Do you think you would have made a big, better guard dog than Sarah? You don't know? <coughs> Lily, you think you would have been a better guard dog? <coughs> At um, ha Sarah Hound Dog Guard Dog Industries, we expect our employees to be well groomed and to represent our garage sales well. That's the expectation there. She refuses to put on the uniform. Oh, is that what she's out here butt naked? Yeah, it's not proper garage sale etiquette. It's 
it's not. But you know, that's why she knows she can get a, do a crappy job and get away with it, because she's related to the owners. 